So hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to today's learning morning. Happy Valentine's. Um, let me see, hey Jasmine, um, hey Jocelyn, hope you guys are having a great day so far. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started really quick because after this I have um, <clears throat> an interview, so I have to be fairly quickly <laughs> with this, but I wanted to share with you guys um, I wanted to share with you guys my heart as well. And um, I wanted to talk about perseverance, okay? Perseverancia. Este, and also let everyone know that we're here um, because I am going to be um, um, quick. Perseverance, why this topic? Because I think is needed to be spoken of. And I can say that for me personally, um it's been a, a journey to persevere perseverar i don't even think i pronounced it right perseverar um in in this in this business so um let's be real this is not an easy type of business and i know sometimes we can feel um overwhelmed and the reality is that it's not easy it does demand um dedication time, um, consistency, but, 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 but yet in the midst of the challenges, um, there is a huge potential to grow not only financially, but impacting people's life. And I know that, and, and maybe Jasmine that knows me a little bit more. Um, I, I am, well, I've been in, in this for five years, but I can tell you guys that it's been more of a personal growth. And I always like to say, we always learn or win but we never lose. So I wanted to say that because um, sometimes we might not be seeing the things um, the way we want them to, but if we stay consistent and we dedicate time, we will be able to have success. And when I mean success, it doesn't necessarily mean monetarily, but it does mean success in personally growing, um, mentally, emotionally, and um, I think that this business model, besides the business, but the community that we are in is so crucial to stay plugged in and stay connected because of this, okay? Because of the, of getting together, because of the trainings that we have in the Spanish Academy, because of gathering here and being together and, and learning and also be doing, I know a lot of people used to um, also um, be part of the training, but that also helps a lot for you to grow and develop why because you're put in a position where you have to um take the time to do the research to do the study apply to yourself and then share with with other people so sometimes there are so many distractions and i can see them everywhere i tell you this because it has happened to me distractions here distractions that and sometimes that can um hinder our walk through this process process of entrepreneurship so um something that my mentor said um not only stayed focused but also when we have other people in our teams that are not just a number but they are genuinely a person that came in here with hopes and dreams and desiring um desiring more and uh, my mentor said keep the people around the campfire. Sometimes people come and people go. And that's sometimes, unfortunately, the nature of this business, but there are those that stick and stay. And um, this is also building relationships. You know, this business has to do a lot with building relationships, getting to know people, you know, um, pouring into um, other people. Good morning, Nancy. So um, he said, always keep people around the campfire because you never know who might catch the spark and join you in this journey. So maybe we might have people who are consumers who just buy the product and are not really interested in the business, but keep them around the campfire. Always share with them value, value, take time to know them. And when you keep them around the campfire, even though they're consumers, eventually there's a possibility that they might do the business. So something, stay consistent. Um, also that I've had to learn, deal with your emotions. Sometimes don't just stuff your emotions in because it, this business, let's be real, there's a lot of emotions going into this. So um, one of my tips that I could share is deal with the emotion. When you catch something, you know, that's kind of sort of off, deal with it, okay? Um, and, and, you know, find a solution to that. 
seek mentorship, okay? I strongly believe in mentorship. Like I strongly believe. I think I am still here because of my mentors. I have mentors in different areas. Like yesterday I had a meeting with a mentor on on, you know, for network marketing and for my other business. And um it was so powerful. Some other time I'll I'll share with you guys what I learned from her. But um and also I have other mentors in, in other areas, but seek mentorship. Okay. This is this is so key. And even experts say so key to your business. I know that sometimes there is a cost to it. Um, some of them do it for free, some of them, you know. Um, but let me tell you, invest in your business. Invest in you. It's not your business. Let me rephrase that. I said that wrong. When you invest in mentorship, you're investing in yourself. You're not investing in a business. Yes, there will be a, a benefit, but you're investing in yourself. You're growing. So I highly encourage that. Stay plugged into the system that, that we have. Avoid mental burnout. Sometimes with so many things thrown at us, we can mentally be burned out. Don't compare yourself with other people. This is key. Do not do that. It's very easily, easily to fall into that, but don't do that because your journey is not my journey. My journey is not the same as other people. So learn to embrace your journey, learn from it, soak it in, because what you're going through today is the tomorrow that you're going to minister to someone out of whatever you may be going through. Okay. And I will say this, and I say this with um, a lot of um, respect. And I say this with a lot of um, uh, honor and respect. Don't buy into the hustle culture. And I will say this um, sometimes, and, and I might get fired for this from other people, but hear me out on this. Um, sometimes when we're in this business, there's this go, 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 go. Like this, you know, hustle, hustle, hustle. Yes, we are to move. We are to to um be active we are to not stop we're not to go 10 miles per hour but also when we fall into the trap of that you know that go 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 you're going 100 miles per hour you will start losing the focus you will start losing the um the fire the passion with what you started because you're going to be mentally burned out i'm telling you i went through this you know so yes Stay plugged in, yes, by all means, but also be very self-aware of not falling into the go, go, go that you miss other areas of opportunity of growth and connecting and sharing with other people, okay? So have that in mind. And I know a lot of it is like, no, no, just keep going. You gotta go, 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 go. Yes, I get it. And yes, you should, but make sure that you find that that middle ground, you know, also, when you feel, um, and this is like everywhere because I was doing this last night, I didn't even align it properly, but it's okay. The point is there. Um, when you feel it unmotivated, some things that help me is to develop a new skill. I already mentioned mentorship. Ask God for creativity. He's the best upline ever. He's the best upline. Move wisely into other endeavors that align with what you are already doing. This is my personal opinion. So take it with a grain of salt, you know, like, um, I don't want to distract you from what you're doing, but, you know, begin to develop those other new skills and then make sure you put it together with what you are already doing in your business. For example, <clears throat> I will say, for example, um, I know people who are coaches, like who are life coaches, right? That's their passion. That's what they do. And they also do this business. So connect those two together because you're doing what you love. Network marketing, which is also a business that we love, but also do something that you're passionate about. Y entrelazalo junto, unelo, okay? For example, I know someone who is a John Maxwell um, coach and she does that type of coaching, you know, live coaching and and whatever it may be. And she unites yeah, well, you're gonna get down. with this business as well, okay? Um, let's go to the next slide. Also develop, um, identify those strengths, okay? So identify your strengths is the first step to unlocking that potential. What topics ignite your passion? Ask yourself these questions, okay? You can screenshot this and in your own time, go through it. What ignites your passion? What stories do you carry within you that have the power to inspire and connect with others? You have a story, Jasmine, Jocelyn, Nancy, Gretel, you guys have a story, a unique story that no one can argue with, a unique story 
that you can share with other people. And this is what I was talking about with my mentor. We are developing that story now as we speak. So we all have a story. We all have this uniqueness. We all have a certain people that we can reach that I can reach. So take advantage of that, okay? Take time to explore these questions and create a unique story um, that, and that's going to be how we're going to connect with people. My mentor was saying that people connect with stories. What is your story? Okay. So sit down and craft it, make a list of what are your passions? What do you love to talk about? What is it that you love to talk about that you can talk about it for hours and hours and hours. And that's a key point where you're going to be like, this is, this is where my content is going to revolve around. Y entrelazar, I don't even know how to say entrelazar in English but it's like uniting it together, okay? So start creating that story, okay? Purpose, what drives you beyond the surface level of sales and transaction? What impact do you aspire to make the lives of others around you, okay? So finding your your why. Why did you start this in the first place? Because sometimes we can lose sight of this, right? And we get disencouraged because of X, Y, and Z. But having your why, the purpose, building with a purpose is what's going to keep you and drive you. So reflect on your mission and the vision and see how that aligns with your heart's desire. What is that desire that you want? Okay. So identify those things. Um, also define your purpose and that aligns with your business. Connect your why, which I already said, um, is not just about a product. I think I'm repeating this, um, this, this slide, but Create community, growth, and think that you are leaving and know that you are leaving a legacy. So here are some questions that um, I was um, searching and looking up and thinking as well. And, and, it, and it came up with this questions to clarify your purpose that aligns with your actions and your values. What drove you to start this business? Think about it right now. Why did you start this business? Go ahead and answer it in your mind. Or if you want to put it in the chat or if you want to share at the end. Um, how do you envision your role in positively impacting other people's life through your product or services? What drove me? I'll share mine. What drove me is, um, well, first, obviously, I was seeking to, um, well, there obviously, there's the story behind it, right? Where my husband at that time was disabled. I just had had my third baby and I was looking to generate another income to help me manage my time better where I own the time, not own the time, but that I can manage it better, decide, okay, I'm going to work from eight to two, or I'm going to work from four to five, you know? So that managing my time for me was crucial, but also the community, the people that, you know, the, the, the skills that you've developed, that's what has kept me going. And um, third question, what core values drive your mission in network marketing? What are those values? What legacy do you aspire to leave behind through your work in this business, right? What What do you desire to leave? That if you leave, if, if God calls you tomorrow, what do you want to imprint on other people? What do you want to leave on other people? Okay, think of those questions. Why did you get started? You know, what drove you to it? And think, take a screenshot of this and think. I'll share it also in the chat. Also steps, as you journey on, remember that you are not alone in this. You are not. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who share the same values and support your what you desire. So what steps will you take today to align your purpose with your business and create a meaningful impact in the world? Think of that question as well. I know that it's a lot of questions, but I'm just throwing it out there and then you on your own time, think about it. Um, Ponder on it, write it, okay? And this is stuff that you're gonna share with other people because they're gonna resonate with your story, okay? <clears throat> and above all, above all things, always give priority to seeking first the kingdom of God. When your purpose is aligned with your will, everything, when your purpose is aligned with his will, his will, not ours, everything falls into place. So in, let's continue to encourage all of us, you know, together, in faith, continue to um, persevere, perseverar, despite of what you feel. Remember, I said emotions. Sometimes we don't feel like doing it. But you have to rise above the emotion. Oh, and that's hard. It is really hard rising above your emotions. But you, you are, will be able to do it. 
And I found this quote that says, as you embrace the power of your personal brand and align it with your purpose in this business, remember that your story has the potential to inspire, to uplift, to transform lives. You have that. Right now, you have that. So stay resilient, stay authentic, and continue to shine brightly. Your journey is just beginning, and the world is waiting to hear your story. The world is waiting to hear your story. Isn't that powerful? Like there's people out there that need your story. Doesn't that inspire you or move you to, to give, to continue? And you might think, well, I don't have a, a story. Yes, you do. We all do. We all do. Because sometimes I thought, well, I don't have nothing. Yes, I do. When I started digging into these questions, I do. I really do. And I always like to end with um, a scripture, obviously. But, you know, if you're feeling that, man, I'm tired. The word in Isaiah says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. That's out of Isaiah 40, 31. 